Hi guys and welcome to Adobe Anime Tutorial of a Slideshow. Let me show you guys how this works. I have two buttons here, one for next and the other one for previous. Okay, that's how it works. I have about, I think five images there from my previous tutorial, of course. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you guys straight into Adobe Development Environment and we'll put one of these to the, together. So let's do that now, guys. So exit out and I'm going to start a new project entirely. So let's click on new. Once this year development environment pops up, I intend to leave the width and the height the way they are. I'm not going to do anything about those. And you see right here where we have the frame rates, leave it as 30. And right here, the platform is going to be Action Script 3.0. And right here, we have character animation. So that's the one I intend to use. So click on Create. There we go. Now, this is the environment. That's how it's looking. The choice is yours. If you want to cha change the workspace to whatever the workspace at the moment happens to be. Let's see. That just happens to be workspace one. I think that's... I'm going to change it to classic. And there we go. That's how this classic workspace looks like. Now, I need my library. My library is not there, but I do have the properties. This is the properties for this particular stage let's reduce the stage to about 50 so that you guys can see it that is the stage okay and uh, we also have some assets here which you guys can use if you want there are some backgrounds in there but i just intend i want to show you guys how to import those background those uh, images onto the system so i'm going to come in here let's go to windows let's select library or you can always press ctrl l there we go that's the library i'm going to grab the library and just peg it up right there okay i'm going to collapse the motion and right here inside the library i intend to add the following images so let's grab my images those are the images i intend to use there they are Okay, so some of them happens to be the same image anyway, so I'm just going to grab Let's grab this one And I'm just gonna drag them drop it right in there Okay guys now that I've got my Images in place What I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this in the very first one here Just grab that and drop it right in there There we go seems to be very large so let's come into the properties right here that's the size of the image and the size of my stage is 1280 so let me change it let's come in here and just change this to about maybe 1120 okay and the height i'm going to make the height about let's go for maybe 600 and right here is the alignment tool but you must make sure this align to stage is selected first make sure it's checked and click on vertical and that all right that is fine that's how it's looking now and the size is 1120 by 600 that is fine so let's come straight here you see the second frame here press f7 Okay, you either press F7 or right click and select insert keyframe, blank keyframe. There we go. Now, go back to your library, grab the next one, drop it there, change the size to be exactly the same. Go straight to the properties and change that to 1000 plus as well, 1120 and the height, make that 600 there select the alignment tool and get it centered there we go look at that one two back to the library the same process but before then come up here press f7 or right click and select blank keyframe grab the next image drop it there exactly the same process 
1120 by 600 and get it centered there let's add maybe one or two more okay right click click right click and select insert blank keyframe library and we have three ready grab this one this looks a bit different yeah and repeat exactly the same thing there and this will be 600 get it centered there we go all right we have four maybe one more just one more okay i'll go for this settle for that now press f7 right here make sure it's selected and just press f7 there we go and grab drop it there there we go and this one is looks almost the same let's see okay this very one i'm going to delete that and let's add the background the background wasn't in there the case of the background we need to increase that to 1120 by 600 there we go and centered as well there that is it so all done i have five images on board as you can see so i'm going to log that up this very layer i'm going to change the name of that layer to images that's fine now click on add new layer and the new layer i'm going to go straight to my window right there and let's select components there inside the components you now want to drop down the user face drop that down and let's select button and we're going to paste that very button right underneath here there there's a button right there okay or maybe we can put it up with choices yours underneath here right and let's add another button we have two buttons there we go so i'm going to close this components let's increase the size so that you guys can see it i'm going to make that maybe about 80. yeah and those other buttons okay let's see if we can go for 100 then all right that's fine 100 is cool okay select this button let's enhance the look of the button now the first one here let's come right here you see as you can see we have movie clip i'm going to change the name of that button to btn next okay and make sure it's movie clip but if you want to change it to button and so on yes you can but mine is movie clip for the button now come right here you see this very icon here show parameters i'm going to click on the parameters see how the parameters look like guess what there are some other properties in there you see i just drop drag it down so that i can see the other property right in there is written label i'm going to change the name to next there we go if you notice the name on the button is changed to next now let's repeat exactly the same thing for the next button the next button here we're going to change that to previous and there we go we've changed that to previous that is fine and we need to change the instant name to btn previous and that is it done okay the two buttons now have their own name let's see no the two buttons do have their own name but unfortunately it did not start from the start so i'm going to delete that rule delete all of that and here these are this is where i have the names of the button i'm just going to copy it across let's right click and copy or press f5 there we go i've copied the buttons across but that is how you change the names anyway make sure your player head is right at the at uh, frame number one okay that is taken care of now i'm going to close that lock that layer up and let's change the name of that layer to buttons there we go now click in here 
add new layer this new layer I'm going to change that to actions all right you see with the frame actions I'm going to right click on frame one but let's undo the unlock button right click on frame one here and let's select actions if you guys cannot see it is f9 i think it to be here somewhere okay the action is right here look at it okay f9 click on that there we go and that opens up this coding area so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm just going to type in stop enter parentheses and semicolon if you don't want to type stop yourself you can always go straight in here i'm going to delete that come in here you see the code snippet click on it and this dialog pops up inside this dialog we have action script and we also have html5 canvas the one i want to use is action script inside the action script i'm going to go straight to the timeline navigation click on the timeline navigation and select stop at this frame there we go okay it's the same thing and all these that you can see up there is just comments telling you what's going on so that is fine now let's get hold of our buttons i'm going to select the next button here see as soon as i select that its own coding area is made visible so let's come right in here into the code snippet we need click to go to next frame and stop okay click to go to next frame and stop double click on that there we go that's my first lines of code and just you can see the stop code is back on the same now let's repeat exactly the same thing for the previous button click on the previous button and click on click to go to previous frame and stop double click on that there we go so the lines of code are now there so i can now close this i don't need that code snippet anymore here are the lines of code that we just added and for your information we just finished our slideshow so i'm going to close this and let's run or you go to control and test the scene okay guys that is my animation but unfortunately i think you guys won't be able to see the button properly but if i click on it you can see i am actually sliding through okay let's end that and just move those buttons right up there so i'm going to grab those buttons and just move them right up let's close all of these no close the action script and grab the two buttons and just move them right up so that you guys can see me actually click on the slideshow there we go so let's run it again run there we go so check out the buttons okay then that is how you create your own slideshow in animate so with that guys i'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you guys enjoyed you all have a nice day now and bye for now